It's time we looked at the PlayStation 5 user experience. Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video. We run JD Run, that's me, yeah, that's me. Where is it? Oh, yeah. oh. oh it's the wrong it's the wrong platform. Right, what about this one? <coughs> there we go. <coughs> chip chip cheerio, everybody. <coughs> oh sh <coughs> excuse me, what the heck's happening? Rona um So, uh the, the PlayStation 5. Uh, they showed us the UI recently, yesterday. I, 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 I've seen snippets, I haven't seen the whole thing. But I'd like to speculate and look at it with you because it looks very pretty from what I saw. So let's get right into it. All right, here we are. PlayStation 5, the user experience. We are going to experience this as a group right now. Hi everyone, ah, I'm Hideaki Nishino, and I head up PlayStation's platform planning and management team, which includes product and UX design. All right. Today, we are finally going to give you a look at the PlayStation 5 user experience. We will see some of the features that enable games to work together with the hardware and network to deliver a truly next generation experience. Mm. Our vision for a PS5 user experience is simple. We believe that your playtime is valuable and should be meaningful. PlayStation team members from all around the world work to deliver a PS5 experience that is completely centered on you, the player, connecting you with a great play and a passionate community of gamers. Okay, I like that. With a look and feel that's designed for 4K TVs, mm. the PS5 user experience was built from the ground up to take advantage of the console capabilities, complementing the transformative games coming with this new generation. All right, thank you. I should note that this video tour is from a pre-production environment on the PS5 console, so there may be a few small wrinkles or minor changes once the console launches in November. It's completely understandable. And now, let's check it out, courtesy of our own Sid Schumann. Thanks, Nishino-san. Welcome to your new PlayStation 5 console experience. Nishino-san. This time, we've started up from rest mode. We've already created an account and signed into PlayStation Network, so let's log in. I mean, I'm liking it already. I just like it. Oh, very colorful. In this case, I've resumed right where I left off in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. And here, we're looking at PlayStation 5's Control Center. Mm. From here, it's one click, and we're right back into the game. But let's take a moment and look around. Yeah, what is all this? The Control Center is always one tap of the PlayStation button away. It provides immediate access to almost everything you need from the system without leaving the game. This includes things like seeing who is online, checking the status of a download, managing your controller, power, and more. Oh. You can do this mid-game now? That's fire. What the These heck? These colorful characters are called cards, and they let you interact with games and the system in a variety of ways. First, as we've just resumed, the Control Center is showing a special card that allows me to get up to date on recent stories posted by publishers for games I am following. That's fire. So they got official news. Another card here shows me recent media I've captured from my gameplay using the Create button on the DualSense controller. Oh, that's interesting. Let's check out one of the most powerful new features of the PS5 console. They're actually just to the right in this row, and we call them Activities. Activities are part of the plan to remove barriers to gameplay. Let's get an example of one way they're used in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. With a tap of the PlayStation button, I'm back to playing the game. Sackboy, A Big Adventure is packed with things to discover, and each level represents one type of activity I can play, many of which I can go back to later to discover more. It looks nice. This is a good game, good looking game from what I'm seeing right here. I tap the PlayStation button to bring up the control center again. I can see a number of available activities both active and suggested by the system. Let's take this first one, A Big Adventure, as an example. I can see that I haven't quite completed this level yet. I'm at 33%. Let's open it up and see more. Oh, it gives you percentages on Here how far you are in the game? Oh! Including key objectives I haven't met. And I'm seeing a very important piece of information here. It says about 10 minutes left. This is PlayStation 5's personalized playtime estimate, giving me an idea how long it will take me to complete this activity. Oh, that's amazing. I love that. 
That, uh, give Some me, activities what? even let you jump directly to that place in the game. Give me that in, Go in Ghost of Tsushima so I can know exactly how far I am from beating it. But or Last of Us. Here. For another example, let's open that activity back up. Okay. This game looks good, by the way. I mean, but yeah, next year. Looks like I missed an objective to find the monk robes costume piece. Looks like I need a little help. Some in-game activities, like this one, offer official game help. Game help is included as a benefit for active PlayStation Plus members in some PS5 games. In this case, I can open up that objective to get some hints without resorting to a web search or digging through long videos or articles that might contain spoilers. Oh, they trying to cut out YouTube. This particular hint is a They trying to cut out the middleman here in the card and I can expand it to get a bigger view without leaving the game. Oh, Sometimes that's... it's really useful to be able to see the hint on screen while you play. Some cards can be put in a picture in picture mode or as shown here, a side by side view. Hey, that's kind of Super fire. Cool. And if you pin a card, you can access it via the control center at any time. Hey, that's now let's go find those very rascally fire. monk robes. So you can so that means you can pin like if you're lost in a Thanks, game and game you don't help. know where to go. You can pin the game the help. PlayStation wanted to make it really I easy like that. to chat with your friends on the PlayStation 5 console. So let's check out how it works. Okay. Here I'm opening an interactive notification with a tap of the PlayStation. Sorry, I'm in the way. And I've decided to join the voice chat that my friend just entered. Now, my friend could have done this on the PlayStation app for mobile devices, from a PS4, or in this case, from a PS5. Hmm. The DualSense controller features an integrated microphone, too, so I could start talking right away. But I always have the ability to hit the mute button on the controller Wait, there's or a, in the menus. There's a mic on the controller, it said? That's interesting. Parties take on an expanded role with PS5, and they now provide persistent spaces to connect with groups that you play with. Here I have a couple of friends chatting away in the party. One of them has started sharing their screen with the group. Looks like they're playing they, Uncharted they had The Lost Legacy. Okay, so they have We can chat screen. while we play, and I can watch his progress as well. Oh, that's fire. I mean, they had this, though, before, but that would be kind of cool to simultaneously be through a game with a friend and then share your screen and your gameplay. This play. is another card that could be put in picture-in-picture picture or pinned to the side while you play. You can access it anytime via the control center, too, but let's dismiss it for now. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's review. So far, we've seen how activities on PS5 will make it easier and faster to hop back into PS5 games, and how you can get in-game help and chat with your friends. So that leaves online multiplayer gaming. Let's check it out. I see that some of my friends are online, so it's time to say goodbye to Sackboy for now. I don't play a lot of online on of PlayStation All -Stars. or Xbox. Or One of my friends in the party has already maybe. started a match, and we can join them from this card in Control Center. Oh, okay. So, oh, well, that's, oh my God, that's so much easier than going up to the freaking notifications and there we tab. Go. Destruction All Stars now quickly starts thanks to PS5's ultra high speed SSD. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. A lot. Okay. I think we've got enough people on our party, so let's jump in. We're keeping the focus on PS5's user experience today, so let's zip ahead so we can see more. You guys could have just edited this out. <laughs> And just like that, hey. we're in. We don't have time to play a full match today, Aww. but I do think we have time to take a quick photo. To do that, I'll just looks tap the Create crispy. button on the DualSense controller. PS5 is always capturing recent gameplay, but when you compose a shot, even using in-game photo mode, you can capture a high-quality screenshot here. This optimizes capturing the moment, Make, letting you review and choose to share later on. Optimize goes to Tsushima. Mention, Screenshots and video can be captured at up to 4K on the PS5 console. 4K, uh-oh. Okay, so far we've shown off how to jump into activities, mm -hmm. how to chat with your friends, get into groups together to play, capturing gameplay, all of that while in game. But what if I want to play a different game? Mm. Oh. Welcome to the PlayStation 5 home screen. Oh. This is where you'll land when you start up from a powered off state and where you'll go when you want to choose a new game to play or download. The layout of the space is designed to present games and game content beautifully on a 4K display Beautiful. with simple and super fast access to what you need. And in case you're wondering, 
media-related apps will have their own space like this one. But today we're focused on gaming. Each game has its own <laughs> But today we're focused on gaming, so, just... so all you need to do is scroll down to see activities you can jump right into. Video clips, stories about the game, DLC, and more. Mm, Backward compatible PS4 titles will benefit from some of these features too. Some? Let's move one spot to the left and check out Explore, which brings together all your games. Mm -hmm. We saw a view of this from the control center earlier, and another view will also be in the new PlayStation app for mobile devices. Explore keeps you in the loop with official stories from PlayStation and from all the games you're following, including trending media from the community. We'll be testing and learning about this feature in the U.S. at launch, so not everyone will have this on day one. But it gives you a good idea of the direction. Okay. That's and this it. is PlayStation Store for PS5. Oh, it's yeah? It's completely integrated into the system. It's not a standalone app anymore. Oh, thank Browsing you. Browsing for new games to play will be easier thanks to the speed of PS5. Scroll and down. more personalized store experience. Scroll down. Scroll. And here, you'll be able to browse the latest games and deals. You'll find PS5 games and many backward compatible PS4 games, too. Scroll down. I'm sad to say, but we are almost out of time. No! So let's pull up Control Center one more time with a tap of the PlayStation button. All right, whatever. On our way out, why don't we quickly share that photo we took in Destruction All-Stars? We can find recently captured media in this handy card in Control Center. From here, we can do some quick edits, but I think I'm ready to share it right now. On PlayStation 5, I have the option to share videos and images to supported external services. Twitter. Or I can send them directly to one of my parties. Mm -hmm. Remember, parties are bigger than just voice chat now. So I'll select one of my favorite parties here. All right. Let's attach a quick message here. The DualSense controller makes this really easy. Can PlayStation you? 5 supports voice dictation in a number of languages, oh, so you no nice. longer have to type messages with the keyboard if you don't want to. That's actually Simply select the microphone button. It's pretty fire. Here's a cool detail. If my friend hasn't yet played the activity where I captured this media, and the game's developer thinks that activity might contain spoilers, they'll receive a warning before they view it. Oh, that's well, really cool. that's it for our demo. No, it's there over. There are many more exciting features we couldn't get to today. No. But we're super excited to share more of the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation Don't turn it off. experience with you in the coming weeks headed to launch. Oh, wait, there are And of course, this was just the first look at what fans could expect on day one. The team at PlayStation is committed to evolving this experience with our community in the months ahead. We look forward to sharing more. Thanks for watching. What? That's it? PlayStation. No! <laughs> I need more right now. Well, that was interesting. I enjoyed all of that. That was really cool. Those cards and the option to be able to like share the game picture in picture with friends. I mean, they had share before, but I like the fact that they have the option to because I think I just I consider that like, let's say we're both playing Miles Morales or something, right? Me and I don't know, Paul or somebody. And he's like, uh, how far are you in the Miles game? And I'm like, oh, I'm at this part. And he's like, oh, where, what did you do there? And I'm like, oh, well, let me show you. And then you could just open it, send him a link, and uh, next thing you know, you're sharing the game, and he's playing his game and watching, and he's, like, moving forward. I, I like that. The progression is cool. Also, that option to have the in-game help, not going to lie, that's kind of fire. He, he, You heard the dude. He's like, we cutting out the middleman. YouTube, wherever it is you go to watch uh, Let's Plays, playthroughs. Not that it's a bad thing, but I don't. Uh, there's games that I've played before where I don't know what to do at a certain point if I get stuck. And having that, but I don't know. It's not going to be for every game, but having that on the games that hopefully are available to have that option, that'll be pretty dope. I look forward to like just being like, okay, I don't know where I'm at. I don't know what to go. And then you click a button, and next thing you know, it tells you, hey, here's what you need to do next. Here's a hint. And you know, I mean, that's a little, it's a little, a little, little cringe in the sense that it's like, hey, get good, man, get better at the game and learn how to beat it. But you know, everybody's getting older. I'm getting older, and people are like, man, just help me. I don't care. <laughs> uh, let me know what you all thought in the comments down below, and be sure to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying this type of content. You know, I appreciate that. But I'm gonna wrap it up. I got a doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna head out right now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will catch y'all on the next one. Uh, hit those buttons. Links, description below. Subscribe. Check the videos over there on the left. And I'll catch y'all on the next one, y'all. I'm going to be out of here. Peace. Leave those comments. Bye.